Well, you know what an influencer is, right? Those people, they're often young and beautiful who post those almost too good to be real pictures and videos and travel escapades to social media. Or maybe, you know, they're touting their opinions or campaigning for a cause or even spruiking a product that has a quote unquote um, ability to change their lives. But something that you don't see all that often are mature aged influencers. I mean, they do exist. I follow a couple. Um, There's one in particular that I love in New York. He's on the catwalk in her 60s. She's amazing. But there is someone who's looking at bucking that young Instagrammer trend and trying to turn the favour to more mature influencers. Sunshine Coast gerontologist Tanya Dave has started a platform that she's calling 60 Plus Influencers. And she's building a network right now for the more mature in our midst. Good morning, Tanya Dave. How do you turn someone who's not an influencer into an influencer? Well, the the first thing I do is to remind them of how they need to showcase their years of experience and their talents and share it with the broader community. So it's about identifying people who've got those skills and then bringing them on board and uh, teaching them how to connect with the over 60 audience. Wait, so tell me, how did you get involved in a project like this? What made you go, okay, I want to work with the over 60 pluses and I want to find a way to showcase their skills and talent? Well, I've been working as a gerontologist for over 20 years. A lot of the times I've come across the most amazing people with amazing stories and ventures. And I've often thought of actually capturing this in a book or something. When I got together with a lady called Kay, and we were talking about the talent that we have, we decided to you know, start bringing them on board, calling them influencers, and then showcasing them on a, a Facebook page called The Playground of the 60 Plus. Okay, so what, what is this? Is this a business? Is it a community initiative? Is it a group? What is it that you're creating through the 60 Plus influencer community? It's a business, and what we're doing really is getting 60 Plus um, influencers on board um, from various areas, from fashion, health, wellness, travel, um, even love as well. Um, Yeah. Mm. So we're bringing the best of them together um, to showcase their uh, skills, their talents, adventures, and to educate people um, on the playground. Yeah. Okay. So what's the idea? Is the idea that in this playground, these 60 plus interact with each other and learn from each other? Or is it that they talk about their skills to the outside of 60 plus community. Do you know what I mean? What's the aim of it and what are you looking to do? So the aim is to engage the over 60 community, to reimagine aging and to embrace different opportunities, to pursue areas of interest. Right. And is this kind of like a wireframe, a first use case using a platform like um, Facebook to create this community and then eventually it might be an app or it might be something different? Is Absolutely, that, yes. Yeah, okay. That's, that's, yeah, that makes sense. Emma Silicon's with you on ABC Sunshine Coast. I'm speaking to Tanya Dave, who's a gerontologist um, and also the founder of a 60s plus influencer platform right now that is hosted on Facebook, but eventually maybe hosted somewhere else, as you just heard. So tell me, um, I've never heard of a gerontologist before. What, what's a gerontologist? What do you do? So a gerontologist special, specializes in all things aging. We are, are trained to understand the aging body, the aging mind, and to see how people can uh, age well. Oh, interesting. Okay. Does it kind of bring in all those factors of like health, well-being, like right across the the gamut? It's right across Ah. the gamut. So we often focus um, on areas of health, but, you know, to actually age well, it's a whole, there are a lot of other other areas that you have to really look into, like, you know, the social side of things, financial, um, connection with community, you know, uh, all those things play a big role. So you've got the Facebook platform. Are you are you teaching over 60s the skills to better showcase these skills and talents on social? Are you getting them on TikTok and on Instagram and these other platforms? Yes, we are. Yes, we're, at, we're doing that. So we've got a team of people who are working together with um, influencers to learn how to post, to learn how to connect with the over 60 audience. And uh, yeah, it's a learning journey for everyone. OK, so what do you get out of it? Well, one is creating a, a fabulous community of over sixty, um, over sixties, and um, you know, working with organisations as well who want to tap into this this 
this uh, cohort of people. Yeah, so hopefully eventually advertisers, that type yes, of thing. Yes, okay. advertise and, yeah. Okay, and then there's a ready-made community that you've already formed there. That's and right. then what do the people who are using the platform get out of it? Well, they learn. They learn to con- uh, well, they learn different, uh, different things. Um, they can pursue different uh, passions of theirs. Um, yeah. Yeah, and how long has it been around for? When did you start this project? Well, the initial concept was in January of last year, and we started getting influencers on board in around June, July. Okay, and you've brought a few of the influencers along with you, or a couple, I should say, um, Irene and also Tony Isaacson, who are already using the platform, already engaging and showcasing and showcasing themselves, really. Um, Irene and Tony Isaacson, uh, hello, thank you for joining us. Good morning, Emma. How did you find these two? Well, they were introduced to me by um, a, f- a friend of mine, and uh, she was saying, Tanya, I've got these amazing, this amazing couple who have done so many, um, they've had some ex- great adventures, and she said they would be ideal for the platform. So I got to meet Irene um, through them, and then Irene hooked her husband in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's come along for the ride. So wait, why are you two ideal? What are you doing um, influencer-wise with this platform, with this 60s Plus platform? We are in the 60 plus demographic, but we are extremely active, we're fun, we love adventures, we love uh, interactions with wildlife. Tony has a lifelong passion of diving, particularly in the last 10, 20 years, diving with sharks, which is wonderful for a wife to see. Yeah, I'm sure. (laughs) Surprised you haven't killed him yet, (laughs) yourself. That's right. (laughs) So um, a a lot of our friends have actually said, we love following you on your own personal Facebook sites. And we often get stalked by a lot of people that we don't even know are there. Oh, wow. But they know all of our... um, Escapades. uh, Yeah, absolutely, the escapades. And Tiny posts uh, avidly. Um, all the time, any time he can. What do you post um, about, Tony? Well, my particular passion is shark advocacy and uh, all things that are supportive of biodiversity above and below water. Mm. But I try to engage as much as I can with the underwater stuff because it's unseen by many people. Do you take underwater photography? Oh, absolutely. Oh, that's cool. And what videos and that type of thing too? It is very rare for me to be on a dive without taking video. And I have hard drives and hard drives and hard drives full of um, videos unseen and unedited. So this year there's a big push to get the best of the best out there. Yeah, and so how are you using this platform to talk about the things that you're passionate about? So Tony, under the surface, and Irene, I imagine you're above the surface kind of supporting um, Tony with what he's doing and maybe taking some photos of what's going on above. That's right. Yeah, while Tony was always diving, I was always the non-diving wife (laughs) left on land. And so... Uh, I thought, well, I want to be part of this as well. So let's create what Tony called surface interval, which is what divers understand as any time when you're not under the water diving. Oh, right. Um, we created that entity on our social platforms 10 years ago or more. And that ended up being really wildlife interactions in wherever we were traveling for him to do his diving. So So you've been showcasing things already over the past, like content over the past 10 years. How is what you're doing now different to what you've been doing for the past 10 years? I guess we're really aiming it more at the senior um, 60 plus community uh, demographic rather than just um, the wide ranging age that have been following us in the past. So um, a lot of the content is similar, um, but... For people in that, yeah. yeah, in that demographic that don't realise there are many things that you can get involved in. Um, age is not a restriction at all. It's, I mean, Tony says he's the inner sixteen-year-old and he's never gotten older <laughs> well, and than that. the two of you are as as very. Can people can't see you. I can see you. You're very <laughs> fit. You know, very, very fit. And you, keeping you, up with him keeps the fitness. Oh, you give her the run around, <laughs> do you? Oh. Well, the 16-year-old within uh, has made Never complaints stops. that uh, I am mm. now as old as old people. Oh, so. And uh, <laughs> so I'm trying to turn that around as best I can. And what sort of things have you been posting? How are you finding, like, what? Uh, what's people's response in the 60-plus market been to your content, Tony, as you've been posting it? Well, I think the most significant has just been this week. And uh, I posted um, a a lady who learned how to scuba dive after she turned 60. 
and she uh, did her 1,000th dive at 86. Wow. So Joyce is my pin-up girl, and uh, she has <laughs> I the... bet she loves being called that too. <laughs> She's got the honour of having a very beautiful tiger shark named after her. So Lady Joyce is a regular at a uh, dive site in Fiji where I met Joyce herself. And uh, I thought, well, let's see where this goes. And the response to that has just been phenomenal. Oh, really? How many, how many people? What sort of response? Well, I can't give a number. Oh. I'm still dealing with the uh, inquiries oh, because wow. it's only been a recent post and all sorts of people have been asking me questions here, there and everywhere. Yeah, you and have to start collecting the analytics because it'll be interesting to see over time as you learn more about the, the social and the kind of, um, I guess, best practices, which I assume, Tanya, you're talking about with um, the over 60 plus market. I think things will start to change. It's always interesting to look. Is that what you're doing, um, Tanya, with um, the over 60s plus? Are there Absolutely. kind of education? workshops yep. and those type of things absolutely so we've got a, a person who you know focuses on that on the team and uh, they're just guiding everyone along on this journey I feel like we could talk about this forever but I've only got a certain amount of time on the breakfast show um, how do people get involved and where do they go to find out more so uh, if they'd like to get involved they can um, join the playground of the 60 plus which is a Facebook page and from there there are directions on you know how to get involved Okay, great. Well, thank you all for your time. I can't wait to hear more about these posts and about the ones that hopefully go viral in the future. Thank you. Thank you for having us. Thank you. Yeah, not a worry. Yeah.